kind of got sidetracked and he had to fix the dinghy and now... Oh my gosh. Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back bed I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know this is a little bit different introduction than we normally would do on our videos, but um, we didn't think to do one. We kind of just dove into this project. Um, we had to do a pattern completely from scratch because this bimini never was originally supposed to be meant for this boat. And so um, we had to draw out a pattern using these bl plastic that he's putting on here and go from there and we kind of just moved our way down the bimini as you'll see okay, throughout so, the video uh, last filming i think it was tony was kind of laying out these uh patterns or well this stretchy stuff that we are laying out for the Dodger in order to um, get an idea of exactly what we need to cut out for the material and so we he kind of got sidetracked and he had to fix the dinghy and now he's working on the toilet so I kind of just took over because I'm going to be the one sewing it anyways and so um, here is what I'm working on I already have it outlined for the strip so this is going to be one window and this is going to be fabric, fabric, fabric. And I already have one sewed up, actually. So this is going to be what it looks like when I get it all done. I don't have the windows cut out yet because I wanted to get this done first. So we have it exact because the window material is expensive. So we don't want to waste any of it. But this is what it's going to end up looking like. Thank you, Dana. So much. But, yeah, that's what it's going to end up looking like. And the window will go in here. And then um, I'm doing the corners first because those are the hard part. And then once I get the corners done, then I'm going to do the middle part, which is all spread out right now. I can't really tell what it looks like, but we have it all marked up. But I'll just show you kind of... I'm not going to show you step by step, but I'll show you kind of a time lapse of it while I'm doing it, but I have to cut this out first, and then cut out the fabric, and then sew them together, and then hem them. I also forgot to mention that this material, this plastic stuff that we're using is specifically designed to uh, help you get a template of the uh, shape and the cutouts that you need so that you don't have to waste any material and you actually we ordered it directly from Sailrite for anybody who's interested in where we got it. It's the only place we could really find it actually was Sailrite.
Hi, okay, so um, I am going to go ahead and start doing the template for the sides of the enclosure. Um, we didn't really show doing that with the Dodger because we didn't really know what we were doing. Um, but we finished the Dodger. Um, it turned out really good. We are really happy about it. Here it is right here. And so now we're just gonna be continuing that on to the side and I'm gonna actually show uh, the, the template, the, the, the plastic stuff that we're using in order to make the pattern for the, um, for the sides. And we're gonna also do that for the back too. But this is the stuff that we're using. And yeah, we finally have a really beautiful day out. It's been stormy and windy and rainy for like weeks. So uh, I'm gonna take advantage of that while it's here, which is probably only gonna be for like a day or two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, okay. I attempted to start this, but it was pouring down rain and it wasn't working. So that's why it's already cut kinda. Okay, so everything's still really wet, um, so it's not really working like it's supposed to, but uh, I'll try and show you. So I'm trying to mark where I want the fabric strips to be and where I want the windows to be. But I might have to wait for it to dry out a little bit more. Well, I have a much more decent layout of it now. Um, I'm just working on the very back part. Wow, it's bright. And uh, I kind of did it into sections because it was so um, weird in the back here. So I have it taped all together basically, but uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more fine cutting and some marking and I'll show me doing that. But we're basically gonna have it attach here with a button and then go down and a button attached there and then there's going to be a zipper here for the the back to be able to attach to and we're probably going to have to do some sort of loop d thing for that winch over there and there's going to be basically a window here and then there's going to be a canvas here canvas on the top canvas on the bottom Another big window here, canvas, window, canvas, canvas, canvas. And I'm gonna be putting where there's gonna be a zipper attaching here, there's gonna be a zipper here, there's gonna be a zipper here, and a zipper at the end so that we can unzip this and have one big door here. We'll be able to just roll it up, basically. And yeah. I'll show you as I go, but that's the plan. And I'm gonna finish marking up the end and then take it inside and I'll start cutting the fabric. Maybe 
some gapping and I'm not too happy about it. Water's still gonna get in, I think. So I started cutting the stuff out after I did the templates and um, I'm going to start sewing. But I was able to cut all into one piece. The front it would be like over here basically on the one side because it was small enough that I could cut it all into one piece. And so now all I have to do is hem it and put the window in and then attach the zippers. But that's what that one looks like. And then I have to sew these together because this is where the big, big flap is. And it's just, it's too big to do into one piece like I did with that one. But I will show myself sewing. It's not the most entertaining thing in the world, but I didn't show it the process of it with the dodger so I thought I would at least try to show a little bit with uh, the sides since I've done it before now so I feel a little more confident about it. Um, I did video some of me sewing in those windows because that was quite the ordeal and I didn't even show all of it because it was it was a lot but uh, this should be a little bit easier because these windows are thinner. <laughs> Honestly, um, I kind of stopped because it was just all sewing and that gets boring to watch so I'm just kind of showing bits and pieces of what I'm doing anyways because this isn't really a how-to video it's more of just showing what we did to make our enclosure because um, we thought people would be interested to see that because it's pretty cool and it's a huge enclosure but I uh, we are done with the sides now here they are Tony put the buttons on. You don't have that one up because, or that one all buttoned in because we go in and out of this side all the time. But now I am working on the back. I've already done the template and I didn't show that because I already showed you what I do for that on the sides. And it's just the same process over again. But I thought I would show what I do for getting the windows on because I'm going to do a little bit of different process than what I did with the front and the sides with zippers. I already put the zippers on the middle um, with the sides. I started with doing the zippers at this end and worked my way this way. But with the back, since um, it kind of really needs to be exact, because these are already on and where they're going to be, I am starting in the middle and working my way to the sides. So. I am going to put the win windows on and then after I put the windows on I will put the top zipper on and then uh, after the top zipper goes on then I will put the last side zippers on and make sure that they measure out the way that they're supposed to and if they don't I'll cut whatever I need to off in order to have them line up just the way they need to. But yeah, I will go ahead and video me cutting the windows so you can see how I do that. And I think I've already shown sewing windows, but uh, I don't think there's a need to show that again. Sewing's kind of just is what it is. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I know that I have a bunch of excess on the sides, like a lot, um, but I do that on purpose because this fabric stretches and um, it moves. So if you do it too close, you could potentially have it run off and have a gap of no window. Um, it almost happened to us multiple times when we were doing the Dodger. So I just do a ton of excess. I know it's kind of a waste of material, but it just makes sure that they're gonna fit. And uh, I thought I should mention too that um, I didn't d put the windows on until last with everything else, but I'm doing it first this time because when the windows go on, um, it uh, changes the whole shape of it a little bit. And so like you think that it's all good, everything measures out good, well when the windows go on the fabric stretches a little bit and then there's pleating and stuff like that. So we're putting the windows on first this time before we do the top zipper and the side zippers so that if I need to cut it'll be easier and I don't have to remove zippers because uh, I had to do that on both of the sides. And I just, the first one I was mad and didn't uh, realize that was gonna be what happened. And then the second side, I just like, well, I'll sew them on and then it'll move and I'll have to pull a zipper off a little bit and sew it. But uh, that's what happened right here, basically. And it's the sex, it was the exact same on the other side too, because this is slightly sloped and I didn't account for that. Um, but uh, I'm, to avoid that happening with the back, I'm gonna do the windows first. Okay, so the windows are sewn on now. Um, I am going to be pinning the top zipper on and I'll show me doing that. Um, but here is what it looks like right now. I kind of just have it pinned up. zippers on and cut a little excess on the bottom. It's getting dark so I have to stop. Top zippers on. Hi. Okay so the enclosure is finished. I'm inside of it right now. Um, we also added some cushions so that we're nice and comfortable. We added some of this to it, just to uh, something to set things on without it sliding everywhere, and for the dogs to be able to lay on too. But so, okay. So here's the Dodger, which I've already shown, 
and so it starts here zips down and then it goes and it buttoned all the way and we added uh, a layer on top of this too and we there's flaps right here to cover the zippers but the whole thing can un can come undone it can just be the bimini and even the bimini can come down too and so then here is this side it's all buttoned down now added zippers so that we can put this up as a flap if we want to and or we can take the whole thing off if we want and then here is the back which we also we have to add a few more buttons but for now this will do we just don't feel like doing it right now especially since we're leaving uh, tomorrow I think we're over at the jetty right now show the other side this side also a flap that can come up all buttoned down zipper here zipper here here this also can come completely off can unzip the whole thing is in separate pieces basically this is all attached from this big zipper that goes all the way across but like we can make this a flap too that can come up so that we can deal with this and uh, or we can take the whole thing off if we want to but yeah that is the finished enclosure it was very very hard i see why people charge so much for it it's not easy the materials are not cheap <laughs> um, but i'd say with all materials we spent um oh so just the canvas which i bought from Joanne Fabrics and it was just as expensive as uh, Sunbrella, but we were able to get it on sale every time that I bought it. So I spent about uh, 350 to $400 on all of that. And then the plastics, we did thicker plastics for this. Um, I believe it was, oh, 60 gauge and we spent a hundred dollars just on this piece here and then um and this is the same actually as this and then on these is a little bit thinner i think it's 40 and we bought it in a huge roll and we still have excess it could probably completely replace all of it again but we spent uh two hundred dollars on that big roll and then i spent about oh let's see probably 60 to 70 dollars on all the zippers and i got most of that on amazon so we'll see how long they last uh, i've heard that they're usually a lot more expensive than that but if i have to i'll just replace them with the same exact ones because i'm not going to spend 60 dollars on one zipper <laughs> but yeah that's about everything um let me know if you like it. Uh, we love it so far. It's doing the job. It's keeping the water out like we wanted. It actually even helps keep us warmer. Definitely keeps us warmer. There's like a 10 degree difference from the outside to in here now, which is super nice. Um, but yeah, comment, like, subscribe. If you uh, have any questions, just let me know. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got so-